The bad jokes finally ended when this car was launched back in 2000. Based on the same platform as the latest Volkswagen Polo, this hot hatch was a genuine surprise to rivals and is among the very best in its class in terms of space, quality and comfort. But will Pete have heard all those jokes or will he give the Skoda Fabia a try? So what do you think? Uh, it's not bad. It's, uh, it's a pretty smooth drive, this. I'm not too sure about the clutch. You don't get any, any kind of resistance from it. And most cars that I've driven before, when I've been learning, have had like pretty stiff clutches. Yeah, but you get used to that. You're yeah. Aware, that's the sort of thing you get used to after a while, and then when you get a stiff clutch, you'll be like, oh, God, what's wrong with the clutch? You start working out your left leg again. Exactly, and you start walking with a limp. Yeah. <laughs> I think Skoda's come a long way from what I used to know them as when I was a kid. You'd be telling all the Skoda jokes at school. So, what do you think of the interior of the Skoda? The interior is pretty nice. It's a bit chunky, but it looks like it's going to last. It looks, it looks pretty solid. And there's a lot of space in here. You can get lots of people in the back. And it's a four-door as well. Yep. Which the Saxo isn't. The Saxo isn't. So there's going to be a lot of clambering around. Never too good when you just stop off and you want to drop people off quickly. The Fabio was unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show in 1999. With the Octavia, it gave us a true idea of what future Skodas would be like under Volkswagen parentage. Based on the Volkswagen Polo platform, the Fabia is available with a number of engines, from 1.2 litre petrol through to the 1.9 turbo diesels. There's even a range topping VRS, a turbo diesel with hot hatch pace. Zero to 60 comes in under 10 seconds and you get 55 miles to the gallon. The Fabia is built in a state-of-the-art factory in the Czech Republic at a rate of 50,000 per year. So why would you buy a Skoda Fabia? Well, first, let me tell you, forget everything negative you've heard about Skodas. This is a quality product. It's as well built as a Volkswagen Polo, and arguably, there's more room inside, and it's a lot more comfortable thanks to its softer suspension. This makes for an excellent first-time buy. The 1.1-litre petrol version gives off about 55 brake horsepower and it's an insurance group one while the 1.4 litre is insurance group four the same as the Fiesta. Basically Skoda are filling the gap that Volkswagen used to be in making quality cars at affordable prices. So what should you be paying for a Skoda Fabia? Prices for second-hand Skoda Fabia started around £3,000 for an early 1.4 classic rising to over £9,000 for a 2002 low mileage 1.9 TDI we recommend that with his three grand, Pete looks for one of those Group 4 Insurance 1.4 Classic models. But what does he think of Skoda's Fabia? What do you think of the Skoda Fabia? It's not bad. It's a nice little car, comfortable inside, spacious, nippy when you need it to, when you need it to go, it certainly does. It's good fun. It's really well built. Is it what you thought a Skoda would be like to drive? It's not. You picture Skoda, you picture the bad jokes, you, just a heap but this is good, it's well put together, feels good inside, good fun. Now it's really spacious inside and you talked about trying to get your friends into the cars when we were out driving the other ones. I don't think you're gonna have a problem here with this. They will, but <laughs> there's, there's the Skoda badge on the front, which although they'll fit in, there'll be a lot of Mickey taking with that. All right, I so think. what you're saying to me is, you haven't got a problem with the Skoda badge but because your friends would have a problem with the Skoda badge, means you probably won't go and buy a Skoda, yeah? Yeah.